Hi, Wickenburg. I'm Billy Joe on the go. And today we're down here in front of the Desert Caballeros Western Museum to see the exhibit, Artisans del Pueblo exhibit. Won't you join me? And today I'm here at the Desert Caballeros Western Museum with Emily Gordon. And Emily, I heard that we've got an exciting event coming up this weekend. Can you tell me a little bit more about what's going on on Saturday? Yes, of course. So this Saturday, we are having our opening for our new exhibition, which is Mexican Folk Art, Artesanía del Pueblo. And we have a couple of special events coming up, um, one of which is at 11 o'clock, we'll have some opening remarks in front of our main museum on Frontier Street. And we will have uh, Danza Azteca of Wickenburg uh, do a dance presentation or demonstration. Very exciting. And then we also have some flacas, which are large puppets and we will have um, them lead us into our learning center which we are in right now and we will have a uh, Dia de los Muertos storytelling uh, presentation by Zarco Guerrero Guerrero sorry <laughs> okay. but uh, yes and so that'll be in here along with uh, mask making and embroidery demonstrations by Felipa and Elia Oh wow, well that sounds like a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, how many artists are going to be here talking about, their, talking about their work on Saturday? So we will have um, Zarko, okay. who is a puppeteer, and he will be in here, and he'll have his puppets here as well. Very and cool. then um, I do want to draw your attention over here because we have this wonderful low rider. Yes. And um, that is made by one of the local artists here in uh, the Phoenix area. Very cool, Please. that is awesome. I'd like to take a drive in that. Oh yes, well you can because <laughs> it is designed for people to come up and take photos oh, with you driving fun. just back here. Oh fun, that sounds like a great time. How many, um, how long have we been doing this event here at the museum? So this will be the first year that okay. we have had this specific exhibition and um, we at the museum here in Wickedburg, we try to show uh, different cultures that uh, influence not only Wickenburg but the, the greater Phoenix area. And uh, previously we've done exhibitions on um, uh, Navajo weavings, the Apache Stories exhibition was here before, but now we really want to highlight the, um, the Spanish and Mexican heritage in this area. So this is new for us, but Very cool. okay. uh, looking forward to many others. Yeah. Yeah. And how long will these dis displays um, be up for, for viewers to come and see them? Yeah. It'll be up for about a year. Okay. Very mm -hmm. cool. That's a long time. Yes. Good. That's very exciting. Is there anything else um, that I can get from you or as far as times or um, d is it, does it cost to come here on so, Saturday? No, Saturday um, our opening festivities are free to the public for uh, the lecture here in the Learning Center as well as outside of the main museum. That is free. Uh, yeah, Very cool. All right, well, we'll hope to see you there. Of course, yeah. I'll be there. Um, and then we have one lecture coming up in December as well. Okay. Uh, our adjunct curator of history, Dr. Eduardo Pagan, he is also a professor at ASU. He is going to be talking about the uh, cultural significance of the Virgin of Guadalupe on December 8th. So mark it on your calendar. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Emily, for joining me. And I can't wait for Saturday. Oh, I'm yes, excited. me neither. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hello, I'm here at the Artisan Del Pueblo exhibit with Jan Janet Cantley. And Janet, can you tell me a little bit about the exhibit that we're standing in front of here? Of course, so Mexican folk art or Artesanía del Pueblo um, is going to be up for a year here at Desert Caballeros Western Museum and uh, we developed it with a, a committee that included the Mexican consulate and Julie Brooks from the um, Chamber of Commerce here in Wickenburg and the uh, staff exhibit committee and we're very excited to bring this very colorful journey to Mexico that goes through various regions and shows their traditional art forms that have been present for many generations, for millennia. And that's what we have in the case that's behind us. We have pieces that date back a thousand years, uh -huh. two thousand years even. Yeah. And it shows that continuity of ceramic tradition that has um, existed in parts of Mexico. 
That's very cool. Can you tell me a little bit about your favorite piece, or do you have one, oh. or can you pick? <laughs> it's like picking my favorite child. <laughs> there are some really fun, as far as a category of pieces, they're called alabrijas, and they're very colorful, fancy, fantastic figures that are a combination of animal forms with wings or uh, monsters, and uh, we have a case full of these fantastic mythological creatures. So I think everyone will enjoy that. The Very masks cool. are also a lot of fun. Yeah. And the masks, to understand their context, we give a little bit of background in terms of how they're used in a ce celebration or in a dramatic presentation in the community. Okay. Wow, that's very cool. Now the pieces um, that are behind us, um, mm -hmm. do we do we know the artists or we, how long they've been around? We do. So there are some ancestral pieces that I, I said date back thousands of years yeah. and from Casas Grande, so unknown artists there. But okay. then the, they have provided inspiration to contemporary artists. So we have known names for those artists. Uh, that come from the community in near the archaeological site of Casas Grandes in Chihuahua, Mexico. And we actually have an event here at Desert Caballeros in January that features those artists and they bring their wares and they have demonstrations and sales tables. So mid-January, put that on your calendar. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, we will. All right. Well, um, now where are these pieces coming from? They're not traditionally in our museum. No, they, where are they? they aren't. They're loan items and they come from um, museums all okay. over Arizona. There's a museum in the southeast corner, Ameren Museum near Dragoon. They, there are pieces from the Tucson Museum of Art and pieces from ASU Art Museum, the very Heard cool. Museum, and then several private collectors that have been very generous. Very cool. Right, and they'll be here for, for a year? Yes. Sounds like, yeah. Well, yep. you'll For get a year. chance to see them then. And, yeah. And with programming, so check the website, check the okay. calendar because there'll be lectures and programs cool. tied to the exhibit. Very exciting. Well, we're excited to look forward to the event and get to see all the other exhibits we all have right. going. Thank Good. you, Janet, for Thank joining you. me. The Desert Caballeros Western Museum always puts on amazing exhibits. One of them is the Artisans Del Pueblo exhibit, featured this Saturday and for over the next year. So if you missed your chance on Saturday, please come down to the museum and enjoy yourself on these what these amazing artists have put forward. For more information, you can visit the Wickenburg Sun, and I'm Billy Joe on the go. Thank you for joining me.